Uh, the first point that I want to make is that uh, uh, the present situation is almost unprecedented. All the major economies are in strong expansion with lots of liquidity today. That's something that uh, didn't exist, um, has never existed before. Uh, we look at the North American, the U.S. economy, the North American economy, the European economy, the Japanese economy, Chinese economy, the Indian economy, Brazilian economy, the Mexican economy, the Russian economy, uh, all those major economies are going along very, very well and uh, a very strong period. And that's uh, just never been the case before. Usually we've had big problem areas and, and that is something different. So, never before in history. But right now, uh, the IMF at the meetings in, IMF meetings in Singapore last year, one of the subjects was the IMF was in financial difficulties because the emerging market countries do not need to borrow. And so they're not getting revenue from their indebtedness. When the um, people are healthy, the hospitals go broke. <laughs> That's a good sign. So, now, the people talk about the horrors of the U.S. deficit, but the deficit is playing a very important function in the world. The U.S. deficit of, uh, we'll look at it a little more closely, eight, eight or nine hundred billion dollars is providing that, those surpluses of all the other countries. That is really a, a, a spark plug for their prosperities. Without this, without this uh, deficit, the world would be in depression. Now, to touch on just some of these uh, events that we all talk about. Globalization. I, these are my take on that quick takes on these issues. Globalization came about as a result of the end of the Cold War. Globalization is the natural state of the world when it is not divided into blocks, political blocks of international power struggle. 